Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. For those that are new, my name is Nelly. I know it's always great when God blesses you with something you want to share it with the whole world. Whether they're Christians or they're family members, just wait a bit until that thing happens, until that thing begins to manifest. Because not everyone is happy for you. If you are expecting a miracle from God, don't announce it with the whole world before that miracle manifests. Wait for the right time. Just because people are congratulating you, it doesn't mean that they are happy for you. Today we're going to be talking about when God blesses you, you need to keep it to yourself and guide your heart. We live in a world where we are surrounded with two-faced people. Some of these blessings from God, you don't need to tell everyone. I know it's very exciting and you think you need to share them with people close to you, but not everyone needs to know. This world is full of humans and we are not content with everything that we have. We want something more and something bigger. It could be that new job, that new career, or maybe a new increase. In fact, we're just never content with what we have. The bigger the salary, the bigger car you want to have. Sometimes it's best to share the news with the Creator who blessed you. Remember, you're the one that was praying over the blessings that you have today. You are the one that was praying secretly, even when it comes to family members. Sometimes family members can be a hindrance to your success. Just look at Joseph. He was sold by his very own family just because he shared a dream with his family and his family members were not happy with his dream even though they thought they were getting rid of their brother they felt that joseph was just this little brat who was always bragging about his dreams they didn't know that they were fast tracking his destiny maybe if joseph kept his mouth shut he wouldn't have been sold in a foreign country that is why sometimes family members as well can be a hindrance towards your destiny. Even when it comes to friends as well, the devil can use your very own friends as well. Not everyone will like you. Even that friend that you trust most, that you tell them everything, can be the devil himself with the friendly face. So you must be very conscious who you discuss things with. There are people that God can show you in dreams as well. For instance, God may be showing you dreams about tiny little snakes surrounding you god may be warning you that there are people that are around you that are close to you that may be gossiping about you people that are not happy about your achievements or maybe about your progress when you have such dreams you need to wake up and rebuke them and cancel those dreams some of these friends may be available when everything is okay with you the minute things are tough they start disappearing God may be showing you what kinds of friends are surrounding you. When you have friends that are gossiping about other people when they're not there, just know that when you are not with them, they are gossiping about you. The Bible says that in, the Bible also explains that in Psalms 105 verse 5. So you need to pay attention to the kind of friends that you are surrounded with. Don't entertain them. Don't take part in the gossip. Once you begin to take part in their gossiping, it means you're part of them. You are contributing in their gossiping. When you are planning a business and you are trusting God for it, you need to keep it to yourself. Don't discuss that business with your friends or people around you that you don't even trust. If those friends are not true friends, they may pretend to be happy for you and also pretend to be giving you business ideas. And yet at the end of the day, they will stab you at the back. I know a friend of mine who had this business idea, a very good business idea. She went to a friend with the hope that she was going to get an investor. That was the biggest mistake that she did. She didn't protect her business. By the time she knew it, her idea was being run by somebody else. Somebody that had money. That very same idea was launched on TV. That's how she lost her business. And up to today, that business is still running. Even if you're looking for an investor, protect your idea first before you leave your business plan with anyone. So you need to be careful. The enemy is very close. It could be somebody who's very close to you. You could be the one inviting the devil on a platter without you even realizing it. By you just simply sharing everything with them. Don't give room for the devil to enter your life. No matter how close you are with them or no matter how much you love them, the 
I know it can be exciting news, but your heart can be deceitful at times. Guide your heart. Don't discuss your relationship problems with them. The very same person that you're discussing your relationship problems with them can be a source of your marital downfall. In this way, the enemy gets an opportunity to enter your home and your life as well. Just look at Samson. He was destroyed by somebody that was very close to him. So that is why sometimes silence is the best option. You need to have wisdom to know when to speak. Don't sell yourself with your mouth just because you have revealed your plans and your secrets. People that are close to you can be the ones that will bring you down, even your spouse. God says in Matthew 10 verse 36, a man's enemies is a member of his own household. So sometimes your enemies can be people that you live with. Look at Job's wife as well. She was the one that was cursing God by telling the husband to give up on God. Even though she knew that all the things that they had, God was the one that blessed them. But she began to curse God and she wanted the husband to give up on God. This is a person that knows how you feel about God, but still wants to convince you to sin against God. I'm sure this is why even Abraham didn't tell Sarah and the servant, because he knew that this decision that he has made, he had to keep it to himself. Otherwise, if he had told his wife that he is about to sacrifice his only son, Sarah would have talked him out of it. Sarah would have probably told him that he's mad. That out of all things, you're going to sacrifice my only son? That's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. So that is why he kept it to himself. So sometimes you need to keep your mouth shut and keep it to yourself. He knew that his wife was going to discourage him. Just like how other people would discourage you in taking that job or maybe relocating or even marrying that someone. Not because they're concerned about you, but because they can see that you're stepping on a level higher and they're not happy with that. So that is why you need to wait until it's done. Not every piece of information is meant for everyone. There's certain information that you can share with people that are close to you, people that you really trust. There's a certain information that you have told a friend, maybe you've shared with a family member or maybe a partner, that today you're held hostage because you couldn't keep your mouth shut. And people have this information. You need to be wise with your word. Just because everything is okay, doesn't mean you have to reveal to everyone. Those so-called friends, that family member, or maybe that partner you told, are the ones that can bring you down. Not everyone is happy for you that you're getting married or maybe you're pregnant. Don't tell the whole world that you're pregnant. That baby that is growing inside you still needs another nine months to develop into a healthy baby. And you are already spreading the news that you're pregnant. You don't know who you're spreading the news to. Or maybe they may not be happy that you're getting married as well. By the time you know it, the wedding is cancelled and you wonder why. Yes, down the line you hear that the very same friend is now engaged to your ex. And now you're paying the price because you've exposed yourself to the wrong people. Even when it comes to Christians as well. Christians as well can go as far as gossiping. Just because they're Christians doesn't mean sometimes you can trust them fully. Don't let that Christianity fool you. Know when to talk as well. You need to have that wisdom to know when to talk about your blessings. Sometimes your mouth can be your own enemy. You can dig up your own grave of jealous people without you even realizing it. Not everyone that smiles with you is happy for you. Unfortunately, this is a world that we live in. Their heart speaks even when they are silent. I'm not saying you shouldn't testify your achievement of blessings. In fact, God wants us to testify. Wait for the right time to testify until everything is manifested. Don't testify what, don't testify something that you think God is about to do for you. You need to testify what God has done for you. Don't get me wrong. The truth is some people won't even like your blessings. They won't understand how come you are being blessed. Not knowing that you are having conversations with God while they were asleep. Because people just want the outcome of the blessing. They don't want to work hard for it. And when you finally make it, you become their enemy. And just pray to God that those enemies, they don't find you. So it's best to keep you to yourself and guide your heart. Thank you for watching. If this is content that you like, please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video. God bless you.